drag ship. scramby eggs, uh, but with a little bit of twist. Uh, today we have bacon, ham, and some nice little salami uh, for you fine scramby egg connoisseurs out there. So let's see what we got. So we're starting off by uh, putting some non-stick cooking spray on there because you don't like sticky scramby eggs. You set the, you want to set the heat at uh, around four or five on your burners, and you want two two pans. Uh, one for your scramby eggs and the other for your uh, bacon and uh, meat. So first we're starting off putting the bacon in. Uh, <clears throat> these are uh, thick cut slices. Uh, when you go pick out bacon, you want the thickest ones possible because they tend to shrink a little bit. And you want to lay those in there on your uh, warmed up pan already. We're going to use made scrambled eggs and we can have a little bit uh, on the side as well. A nice little side dish. So today we're using five eggs. Uh, for two people, five eggs is the perfect amount. Uh, we're going to put uh, the eggs, bacon, ham, and uh, cheese all together at salami and make ourselves a nice little omelet. So starting off with five eggs. You want to make these, make sure that no uh, shell particles get in your eggs because those are those will ruin your morning. <laughs> and with your whisker, make sure you whip it up nice and good. All that egg mixture up. It's gonna be a nice little scramby egg. Make sure it's nice and whisked up. You want a nice even consistency. So we're gonna add uh, about. Um, a couple uh, tablespoons of milk uh, into the egg mixture. Stir that bad boy up. So now while the bacon's cooking, uh, you're going to want to put the five or six eggs that you just whisked up into the pan. Just nice and even on the pan like that. And you're going to want to let that sit. Now while you're doing that, you're going to want to chop up your ham uh, and salami. You're going to want to chop up your salami into fine pieces uh, while your scrambled eggs are uh, cooking. And you're going to want to put this in with the prepared bacon. I'm just going to put that in there like that. Right in, it goes right into the bacon uh, juice, if you will. Put as much meat as you think you're going to need, and that gives it that nice little extra kick. Yeah, it's just nice and fine. In fact, I probably put a little bit too much meat on it. Stick that in there. And next, we're going to put the ham in our uh, in with the bacon and salami. So now we're going to cut up the ham as well. And it's important at this juncture to uh, not let your eggs burn because that could be disastrous. No one likes eggs that are burnt, especially if you're cooking for other people. Now we're putting in the last pieces of ham into our meat. And you're going to want to let that caramelize a little bit so it gets that nice, nice little flavor to the scrambled eggs. And you can see that browning up really nicely. And that goes in right next to the bacon, which gives it that extra little bacon flavor that everyone loves. So now your meat's probably done, so what you're going to want to do is take, uh, 
and take it off the burner and let it sit for a little bit. Um, you know, give it a little stir. And uh, we're checking on our eggs. Our eggs are cooking up nicely. Uh, the important thing about scrambled eggs is you don't want runny eggs. No one likes runny scrambled eggs. Uh, you know, it can ruin a perfectly good morning. Now is the perfect time to put in your, your meat product. And you want to sp uh, sprinkle it around uh, evenly. And you kind of want to coax it without burning it. You want to get your cheese grater and grate it over the uh, scrambled eggs. That. And let that sit for, oh, a minute or two. So now, uh, when you're, once your cheese is nice and melted, you're going to want to take it off uh, the burner. Make sure your stove is off. And dish it out onto the plate. And then serve and enjoy. And now we're going to sit down and enjoy the fruits of our labor. That's delicious. Next week on College Cooking with Collins, we're going to learn how to make a quiche. Next week on College Cooking with Collins, we're going to learn how to make that you already know how to make. <laughs> From the back of a box. You guys learned some today because uh, I burnt the meat. Um, my eggs came out a little hard. Hard eggs. And uh, you guys just don't appreciate it. Son of a The Drag Chef.